Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another first person view scooter tour of a beautiful campground. Today, I find myself at, at the Holiday Park Campground on Benbrook Lake. Benbrook, Texas. Just southwest of Fort Worth on the very upper edge of the Texas Hill Country. And this one really caught me by surprise. And you'll see why. It is the last day of July, July 31, 2022. It's 104 degrees. It is Sunday afternoon about three o'clock. We're gonna go in through the outdoor. Hey, help you. Hold on. Yes, I'm camping. I'm doing a video of a campground. Okay. There's a great big sign there that says do not enter. Okay. I'll go the other way. You need to see it on my documentation? Um, okay. That... I know she gave you a, uh, a tag for your window. That is on the motor home? Yeah. Yes. Okay. You want a sticker? I have. You have one? Gave one to her. Please click on subscribe so I can keep getting paid to go camping. All right, very good. I actually have documented just about every public campground in the state of Texas. Oh, wow. And I have a Google map. If you want to see where to go, click on the balloon and the videos pop up. Oh, very good. This is the second page on DudeRV.com. Yeah, very good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. They didn't like me going in through the outdoor. All right. There's way more RV sites here than, I don't know, I was, I looked at the map and I was still surprised when I got here. We're gonna cut through, go through this little loop first. I'm way on the other end of this campground, at the end of the road. Two campsites right here. I don't think I'd want to camp in either one of those. It's just, it's just me. I like being at the end of the road with no neighbors. Fortunately, Prime the pump so I didn't have to go through the whole you can't use that scooter in this campground rigmarole. So the boat ramp is closed. The, the fishing pier, fishing dock is open, but there's only like 12 inches of water, maybe.
I was really surprised when I got here this morning at about 11 o'clock that half this, more than half of the sites are not occupied. On a Sunday morning. That's just kind of, kind of strange. You slow down, lady. The limit is 10 miles an hour. You're not getting too much wind. Fifty-one. If you want to be by the water, that'd be a good one. Look how low the lake is. This will be the last campfire for a few minutes, so I can go fast. Hold on. the heat of the summer with all the sunshine that you want so this is this is the perfect time for you to be seeing what campsites look like if you want a better view of all the campsites here in holiday park down in the description below there is a link campground views they do 360 degree campground tours you see your campsite at 360 degrees and it links to recreation.gov so we've just passed through the screen shelter loop if you want to see what they look like I, I actually tour one in last Sunday's video the experiential video for holiday park Benbrook Lake. Well, the sites on this side of the of the, the park, they're pretty. Don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand. They're pretty. Just wait till we get over to where I'm camping. They get way better. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Gotta be careful, some campground host might chase me down and spank me. Well, that's an interesting vehicle. Look like a mini bike with a sidecar. A lot of these sites are very sloped. It doesn't really look like it, especially on the on the GoPro camera. Some of these sites you'd have a hard time getting level at.
subscribe and like. Remember to hit that bell as well. All of that helps with the YouTube algorithm so that we can keep doing these videos for you. dead ahead of us, straight ahead of us, when we get up here to this intersection, it's going to be the dump station for this end, and it's kind of a loop right there. Make sure you bring your sidewinder sewer hose support. There's two campsites on this road right here, and it's just a loop. So we're not going to do the road, you'll be able to see the sights from up here. I'll make sure I slow down for you. Nice big oak tree giving you some shade. This is just one side. All right. One side, not two. I cannot count. And then up here on the right, you'll notice there's two corrals and what appears to be one campsite. Two big corrals and one picnic table with a cover and water. No, no power. This is also a trailhead here on the left for the multi-use trail. Hiking and horsing. No bikes. All right, we have a divergence in the road ahead of us. That's the high road. This is the low road, so we're going to take the low road. And these are primitive campsites. No power, no water. Hi! Hi! Hell yeah! These sites all oh, put you right there on the, on the side of the lake. This site here on the left is it's got this really cool tree. I just love that tree. It's number 69. That is so cool. We gotta get up the hill. So I gotta, gotta go a little fast past this one to get up this hill. A 71. We're back on the main road. And now we're gonna go down into some really shaded sites. These are pretty, this is, there's like two sites down here. Very cool. And they got a couple big dogs that did not care for Little Red coming by. I wouldn't want 
off that side because people would be driving by just cruising around. I don't know. I think it was a little too close to the road, personally. But these two right here, different story. Look at this big, beautiful tree. 74. There doesn't seem to be any water for these sides. So that's like a kayak boat ramp. I'll pop up a map to show you where we are right here. I'm thinking there'd be a lot of lot of good crappie fishing right out there with all those tree stumps. Three or four really nice roadside sites over here. I don't think I'd want to try to park Trudy Thunder under this tree, but a van? Yeah, that'd be a good one right there. Primitive sites, no water, no power. But you have a stellar sunrise view. Sunrise will be like right over there. Moving right along. Coming up on another boat ramp that's closed. Two lanes, both are closed. Now these are the sites that I really like. Most of these are water, 30 and 50. That one has nothing. No power, no water. Pretty much an even split between back in and pull throughs. And there's Miss Trudy Thunder in all her beautiful glory. We'll be coming back to Trudy. So we're going to go see a couple of primitive loots over there, and then we'll come back and see these. Ooh, that wind feels good. This is so dang hot. West Texas is burning. We are in a Pretty much a statewide fire ban. All right, we need to go fast. This video's running really long. That used to be an entrance, but it's gated off. This is a primitive area. There are some campsites back in among the trees. And this is the other dump station. And in my personal opinion, 
This one is a much better dump station to visit. Easier in, easier out. You don't have to worry about people missing the hole with their sewage because of the curve. Another single primitive campsite. Well, that may just be day use. I don't see a campsite number. Another single site. That's number 101. Now if you look on Google Maps, this road looks to, it, it goes all the way through to the day use area, but there's a gate and only bicycles and pedestrians can get through. So this coming Sunday, I'm going to give you a tour of that. These are the last campsites in Holiday Park. And you can't really see a whole lot because they're down in here. We've got a few more sites to go. Head back over toward Trudy. Pretty thunder. And we get to go fast. Gotta watch out for them speed bumps though, they'll buck a buck you off one of these scooters I know I've had it happen Verizon Wireless, and I'm picking up two bars of 5G. These are primitive sites. No water, no power, but you're just a short walk from the restroom, and you've got lots of shade. There's some wild turkeys. Five of them. Five shots of wild turkey. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate you riding along. If you found some value or entertainment out of this video, please click on that thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, 
<laughs> that's, that's, that's why I came to Benbrook Lake. I would never have come out here to, to experience this beautiful campground if it wasn't for y'all. Thank you so much for that opportunity. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?